game and claim second place in the regular season. Tweet at LOL Esports and use hashtag C9 win or hashtag CLG win. Let us Lemon going to charge him. Finding hit Zion. They're going to go in for a fair bit of damage here. Is it going to be enough? Sending him around. Exhausted first blood comes in. Will Draven cash one in? Flash from Smithy. After he's got to be careful. C9. They see it coming. Long walk down the river. Too late here for Cloud9. CLG strike back. Take the drill on. He does have the shield. And Smithy in the area. Smithy six. Meteos goes in. He's going to find some up. damage. A lot of knockups. Zion Spartan's got nowhere to go. High gets the kill. Well, that was list ultimate that we will see come out. Oh, Afro does have an ulti still. Flash engages. He finds Lemon, who has no ulti. A ton of damage comes out. A good black shield. And in comes Zion. Gallops in. Gets the kill. The kill. Support can sneaky cash in. Let's watch. This oh. is the actual important last hit. All right. Who's it going to be on? Could they even get a kill, actually? This That's the condemn. first part. Afro is ulti down. Zion's here. Does have the ult. And sneaky's out of mana. Doesn't quite fear Balls. Balls goes back in, and here comes Link. Team's got to run away. Smithy's nearby. A lot of ults traded in. And Balls with the casualty goes to double if CLG ties up. C9. Meteos, can he jump away in time? The answer might just be no. Elimination gets exploded at the beginning. Meteos in the fight. Will there be any kills at all for C9? That answer is no. Counterlogic Gaming pick up two. And the blue buff as well goes to Link. I believe they thought CLG's done. Once CLG start talk, uh, taking down the surge, if they can grab that outer turret global goal. Spect a soonish recall. Smithy leaking around. Oh, gets spotted. Here comes the engage. Sneaky gets the black shield early on. They get onto it. Smithy, who's going to get this kill? Right now, the engage is still on Afro, though. Exhaust, he looks for double it. Sneaky gets the kill. 710 bonus gold. And they've already cleared up by as well. Gyro casualty. Afro also goes down. 54 bonus there. Up Sneaky top, is though. rich. Another trade. It's a two for three overall. C9's favor. Mid-game lane swap gank. Let's see if he can pull it off. Well, it does give Dragon a C9. All right, the reason I uh, talk about the wards from Cloud9 so much, though, Zach oh. from Fog of War. Double if loses the jump. Here's the dive in on towards Link. Exhaust burn there in on towards high. Now Link forced to run away. The dive still on a double if they're low on health, but Zion has joined it's the circled. battle. Smithy might drop, but so might everybody oh, else. Oh, he's wrecking. Giant knock in, and here we go. Zach gets a kill on Avai. Zion Spartan forced to run away. Meteos getting all the kills here. Zion's the third casualty. 362 bonus gold for Sneaky. And it looks like Cloud9 just cannot be stopped in these fights. A three for zero, and the go for Baron. Zack from Fog of War, ridiculous initiation range, and CLG with a spread out team fight. No focus there. Let's see what they uh, can get in the aftermath. Cloud9 able to take down Baron. Empowered recall should enable them to get back. Cool. So mid lane is all the pressure. Two cannon minions now. Baron up. Smithy goes in. He finds Sneaky. Is it the damage they need, though? Smithy in the back lines, but he's going to go down. Zion Spartan has to go for a balls. Who cares about that, though? Forced to ult away. Nothing CLG can do. Another couple of kills for Sneaky. Into the inhibitor they go. Looks like this might even be the game-winning push here. Baron buff still on Cloud9. 20 seconds left on everyone's death timer, and Cloud9... Look to take the second spot in the North American LCS. Wow, the late split surge they're going to try right here. One turret's gone. Zion cuts out the minions. That'll buy a little bit of time here as the second Nexus turret will go down. Sneaky gets ignited, loses some health, but gets a kill all the same. Doublelift, one man versus an army, pushes them around, but there's the Nexus in the sights. Lemonation gets out of range. There's the Nexus. C9 gets a buy in the playoffs. And 27 minutes and 47 seconds was the game time. One of the fastest wins we have seen in the North American LCS. Talk about Cloud9 being on form. They took down the number three team in NA fast. <laughs> fast. Like, like Talladega Knights say, uh, if you're not first, you're last. If you're Cloud9, if you're not first, you're second. Some would say second place is the first loser, but... C9 got a heal. Happy C9 about would this. probably not say that. They get a buy at playoffs. Yep. Mission accomplished. So we talked about uh, Team Impulse not long ago about how they what lost two games at the last half of the split. C9 only lost two games the last half of the split. They lost to Impulse, they lost to Team 8. They beat everybody else. We finally got to see some more flavor picks here from Cloud9. Medios, classic Zach. Yeah. Sneaky's Draven finally shows up.
And High's champion pool contains mid lane Jarvan. Worked out pretty darn good. It's I actually really like it from him because we always talk about how he has this surprise factor in the mid lane. He's one of the guys that plays so aggressively in mid lane, and he even uh, new players in the North American LCS learn a lot when they first have to face High because he first bloods them at like level two. Yeah. Jarvan, very aggressive champion with a Zac pressure from the jungle. Also, High with a lot of, of roaming and high impact roaming very early on with Jarvan. Just a few long swords. Absolutely, but it was great to watch the aggressive build, right? Max Q, Max E, get the damage up, but there, look for someone to dive. And before 20 minutes in, no one's got tank items we talk about. It's a fighter jungler from Smithy. Uh, Zion Spartan gets Merc Treads and then a Trinity Force. There's no tank stats early on. All the burst works out wonderfully here. We're going to see Cloud more Morgana assisted Draven from Cloud9 because I honestly, so. the bottom lane was a huge issue for CLG. Yeah. The Draven had a lot of pressure in the bottom lane, and Cloud9 even fumbled the first couple plays down there. They did. Yet when they finally got that kill, Sneaky's so consistent of a player, he's not going to die early on in the lane, so he's going to stack up the adoration. Yeah, he got like...